I've also been watching way more videos about the Apple Vision Pro. Yeah, I know. I know it's tiring. I know I've been talking about this ad nauseum for the last couple of days, but I'm so intrigued about how the Apple Vision Pro is going to be used by loads of different people. And I'm also intrigued now how the marketing drive has been really ramped up. And it feels like, it, for me, to me, it feels kind of organic. It might not be organic. Maybe Apple did reach out to content creators, but I feel like ever since the Apple Vision Pro has got into the hands of content creators, because it feels like the first release or the first drops were, were kind of sent to actual tech kind of reviewers and stuff like MK, MKBHD and iJustine and those type of people. And they did really technical, in-depth kind of gadget tech review type of things for the Apple Vision Pro. But now we're getting a lot of content creators. We're getting a lot of like tech adjacent content creators, lifestyle content creators, vloggers, all these type of people who are now getting their hands on the Vision Pro and they're now interacting and using it in completely different ways than probably what it's intended for. They're literally pushing the limits of the Apple Vision Pro. And then you're also seeing, um, what you call it, other apps putting out their ideas of what, you know, Apple Vision Pro will look like with their app involved. So far from what I read online, there aren't a lot of official apps. Um, big companies like Spotify and, and YouTube and the Netflix and stuff, they haven't actually made um, native applications for the Apple Vision Pro. They haven't really agreed to that yet at the moment. The reason I think that's happened is probably because these companies are looking into probably making their own versions because this whole spatial computing type of thing is probably going to be the new frontier going forward, you would assume. Um, and because those, you know, from what I've been able to see, anyway, one of the strongest um, selling points about the Apple Vision Pro at the moment is the entertainment aspect of it, right? Having these big immersive, um, you know, uh, VR, AR screens that you can kind of, you know, move around the space and stuff. And essentially like, you know, you could picture yourself sitting courtside watching a basketball game it does open up loads of possibilities for other companies like like spotify like youtube to maybe invest some money into building their own hardware or collaborating with other hardware manufacturers and building their own version of apple vision pro which might mean which might explain why they're not jumping on the apple vision pro yet why they haven't agreed to make their native apps on there but who knows but there are some people out there that are specking out ideas of apps that they feel like would be a good sort of like, you know, um, fit for Apple Vision Pro. And one of them that I thought was interesting was this DJ app, right? There's this DJ app that this company made um, where they essentially kind of trying to completely change how people did like myself DJ, which was usually on like, you know, a piece of hardware, whether it's a CDJ, a mixer, a controller, whatever it may be. They're completely changing it and making the whole DJ experience completely augmented reality. There is no actual physical hardware as, apart from the actual thing you put in your eyes, the actual um, goggles themselves. And I'm going to play you the video because I think the video is really cool in terms of depicting what it would look like if you were to have like a whole DJ unit that ran through the Apple Vision Pro. Let me play that for you now. <laughs> Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not going to lie. I think this looks kind of terrible. I actually do think this looks kind of shit because I feel like DJing in general is one of those things like playing an instrument. It needs to be done on a tactile hardware driven gadget type of thing right like a utensil piece of hardware wherever it may be i don't think it can work really in this type of like vr type of mold i just don't think it looks good but what i think would actually be a really good fit for the whole dj dance music thing would be if you could use your apple vision pro as a means to watch live concerts or to be at a club so imagine you're doing a boiler room and instead of the boiler room just being where you watch on your screen, you could have an element of the boiler room where you could be actually, you could feel like you're there. You could feel like you're standing behind the DJ as they're playing. Um, you could feel like you're standing next to the dancers when they're dancing. So you could literally be, feel like you're actually there in the space, no matter where you are around the world. And then you could open it up even further. Imagine if um, there was this guy, actually, I forgot his name, but there was a dude who, um, oh, what's that flipping game again? I forgot what it's called, but there's there was this guy who built 
to kind of rebuilt the inside of Berghain. I think in is it in Roblox or one of those type? I forgot what game it was, but he basically rebuilt the entire interior of Berghain so you can basically travel around it and kind of see what it looks like. So imagine if somebody was able to kind of rebuild the inside of Berghain and you could essentially walk around the entirety of the space. You could have people playing in different rooms because at the moment I think I remember somebody reaching out to me actually who was running a space where they basically had um, people doing live DJ sets in virtual reality. So they were able to basically go in all these different places um and basically you know you could you could basically dj for people all around the world in vr and the idea behind it is that you'd wear a headset and you could kind of play you know you could basically be there as a raver playing or if i was going to be a dj i could let basically stream on twitch or whatever it was and they would run that feed directly into one of the virtual reality rooms so imagine if that could get taken a step further and you could have you know vip tickets sold or stage side tickets sold for two people who don't live in anywhere near where the festivals are happening and you could basically sell people vr ar experiences um at certain festivals at certain live shows at certain clubs it could completely turn change how people kind of interact with those type of spaces and if anything it wouldn't really require anything different from the club on the inside you know it would just be complete it would just be you kind of enjoying the event with your vr headset from the comfort of your own home without leaving anywhere but just kind of you know basically maybe from the camera of the flipping place on the inside could maybe stream onto your head i'm not sure how it would basically work but it, it probably would be a great experience and it probably wouldn't take away from the live experience because i think one thing that i think this should do i don't think they should try to replicate what la what actual real life is via this you know what i mean i think it should be a completely different thing i think it should be its own separate thing vr ar should be its own separate experience but it shouldn't they shouldn't try to replicate or replace real life experiences i think that's where the difference will be and where it will really kind of differentiate itself from you know other kind of platforms and what people are trying to change because so far um this dj type of thing that i've seen here doesn't look the greatest to me it looks a bit crap in my personal opinion 